UK budget verdict, what's happened and what has caused the UK to be in this current situation? Okay, well, first of all, what's happened in the UK is taxes are going up. So many different ways by not increasing allowances for five years. So what does it mean? It means that you have a certain amount of money before you pay tax. Okay, those things have been frozen. So in effect, as people get more money because they have to because of inflation, those should be lifted to give people the same amount of tax as a real percentage. They're not being lifted. So just imagine inflation was 50%. Okay, in reality, those allowances should go up 50% and they're actually set just to be frozen. Capital gains tax, 12,000, 6,000, 3,000. Okay, the allowance before you pay it is going down massively. It's a big factor. Electric cars no longer exempt from 2025. Again, it's massive. Okay, ESG obviously is big and people pushing in that direction. Big windfall tax that's going in there on energy companies. Of course, they're making bigger profits, but they would argue they've invested money to try and create those companies. And they may well argue that there should be some tax on them, but this is massive, massive taxation, which is going to mean that they're going to not want to develop as much in the UK. If they can make more profits in other countries, guess what? They're going to be developing in those countries rather than developing in the UK. So we've got a country where you've got uh, taxes going up, inheritance tax, okay, it's massive. Again, no allowance increase. Okay, massive again for people that are leaving their money to someone else. So a country where you've got higher taxes and at the same time, the Chancellor says the UK is already in a recession. Okay, so let's just have a look at this. What's happened? So Brexit is partly to blame. So have global problems. Okay, well, that's right. You've got global problems, but Brexit causes a bigger issue. Now, whether Brexit is good or bad over the longer term is arguable. But in the short term, it's meant a shortage of labour. Shortage of labour has meant wage inflation. Wage inflation causes real inflation. In other words, if companies have got to pay more to get staff because they right, there's a shortage of labour, then they raise their prices. So you've got inflation with energy, inflation with food globally, and UK on top of it has got wage inflation. You don't have the problem in Europe. Okay, next, not only Brexit has caused that, all right, but at the same time, you've got a lack of trade. In other words, the biggest trade partner was Europe. That's down 20%. Why? Okay, because there's more red tape. It's more difficult for people in the UK to trade with Europe. So in effect, what we've got is a country that's come out Outside might be good in the long term. There was always going to be pain short term. So just imagine that you've got, um, there was always after Brexit going to be pain. It's increased pain just because the world's got issues. Brexit's caused bigger issues. Could ultimately be, and that's where people are going, well, it's going to be better long term. Okay, maybe. All right, maybe being outside of Europe ultimately is better. I'm not the one to judge that and it will take a few years. But you've got this issue right now in the UK. So that means higher interest rates and also at the same time, UK has got massive debt. So they've had to raise taxes. Why? Okay, because they've got to pay back the debt that they've got. So you've got a country with high interest rates to get rid of inflation. You've got a country in recession with high tax. Okay, you can go, that's a mess. Okay, you're right. It's a mess. It is where it is. Okay, and you can say the budget's wrong. Okay, well, actually, probably there wasn't too many choices on the budget in reality. Reality was they had to do what they did to be fiscally correct. The mistakes, if there were mistakes, were made historically, not on this particular budget. So as you say, the budget's okay, but the mistakes of the past are causing the issues of today. Going forward, what does it mean as an individual? You get to 5% harder, maybe. That's the, uh, the, the, the thing if you're in the UK. Ultimately, don't forget, any country, there's only one thing. Any individual, you've got to be more effective. So if you think about it, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I actually, you can do all sorts of things. You can't print money, digitally add money. Okay, reality is ultimately, you have to be more effective as an individual or as a country. That's my verdict. Leave a comment below. Okay, that's my opinion on the UK budget and the economy as a whole.